Part three. You will hear a man inquiring about college courses. First, you have some time to look at questions twenty-one to twenty-five. Now listen carefully and answer questions twenty-one to twenty-five. Hi, can I help you? I was told to come here because I'd like to talk to someone about taking a management course. Right, I'm one of the tutors, so I should be able to help you. Oh, good.、Uh, my name's Brian Ardley. I've decided to enrol on a part-time management course. A friend of mine took one last year and recommended it to me. Right. Is there anything I should do before the course, like reading or anything? We prefer to integrate reading with the course, so we don't give out a reading list in advance. But we like people to write a case study describing an organisation they know. I've already done that, as my friend told me you wanted one. But would it be possible to sit in on a teaching session to see what it's like? I haven't been a student for quite a while. Fine. Just let me know which date, and I'll arrange it with the tutor. Now, could I ask you about the college facilities, please? Anything in particular? Well, the course is one day a week, all day, isn't it? So presumably, it's possible to buy food. Yes, the refectory is open all day. Does it cater for special diets? I have some food allergies. Provided you warn the refectory in advance, it won't be a problem. Good. What about facilities for young children? I'd like to bring my daughter here while I'm studying. How old is she? Three. Then she is eligible to join the nursery, which is supervised by a qualified nursery nurse. The waiting list for a place is quite long, though, so you ought to apply now. Okay. I don't know if our careers advice service would be of any interest to you. Yes, it might help me decide how to develop my career after the course. The centre has a lot of reference materials and staff qualified to give guidance on a one-to-one -one basis. I noticed a fitness centre next to the college. Is that for students? It's open to everyone, but students pay an annual fee that's much less than the general public pay. And presumably, the college library stocks newspapers and journals as well as books. Yes, and there's also an audio-visual room for viewing and listening to videos, cassettes, and so on. Is there also access to computers? Yes, your tutor will need to arrange with a technical support team for you to get a password. So ask him or her about it when you start the course. Okay. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions twenty-six to thirty. Now listen. And answer questions twenty-six to thirty. By the way, do you know about our business centre? No. What's that? It's a training resource, a collection of materials for people to study on their own or use in their own organisations. Uh huh. You mean books and videos? Yes, and manuals for self-study, plus a lot of computer-based materials so people can work through them at their own speed and repeat anything they aren't sure about. And you can hire laptops to use in your own home or workplace, as well as printers that you can take away. Does it have anything that I could use to improve my study skills? I don't have much idea about report writing, and I'm sure I'll need it on the course. Oh yes, there's plenty of useful material. Just ask one of the staff. Does the centre cover all the main areas of business? Yes, topics like finance and, of course, marketing. That's a popular one. Local managers seem to queue up to borrow the videos. So it isn't just for students then? No, it's for members only, but anyone can join. How much does it cost? A hundred pounds a year for a company and fifty pounds for an individual, with no discount for students. I'm afraid. Well, that's very helpful. Well, I think that's all. I'd better go home and fill in the enrolment form. Thanks for all your help. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. That 